This is Unleashing Leadership, and I'm your host, Travis Moss, and welcome to Quote Day, where we are going to pick on intelligent people as we figure out whether or not they are rocks or diamonds. Today's quote is by Ben Horowitz. Here's the quote. A CEO needs great intelligence and great courage, and I always found my courage was tested more. Our next season is actually going to be in the book, The Hard Thing About Hard Things, and that's by Ben Horowitz. So we're going to get all into Ben in a couple of weeks. But I thought this quote is timely. I've mentioned this a lot, as confounding as it is. The most intelligent people in the room are are most often not going to be the most successful. There are a lot of reasons for this. There are a lot of rabbit holes that we could go down. But I'm going to try to keep this pointed towards the um, scope of the quote. Having intelligence means having the ability to acquire and apply knowledge and skills. And the world is full of people who have the ability to learn but still don't actually achieve anything. So just because you know things, or you know things and you have the ability to learn more things, that doesn't make you any more special than a rock. And the reason being, there's a term called herd mentality. It's also known as mob mentality or group think. I also think this is where self-preservation comes in for people or the need to fit in. This is when one person seems to give up nuance of behavior or opinions so that they can fit with a larger group of people. It's when people trade their personal agency for group protection, kind of like the mafia. Whether we call them companies, universities, communities, governments, countries, it doesn't matter. This is how groups fail. This is how they fall. This is why they don't evolve and keep up. This is why a group can be great one day and go on the next. The graveyard of business is full of tombstones that if you read down who the CEO and the managers were and who the board of directors were, they were all incredibly intelligent people on paper. The issue is, is that the intelligent people, it's like a pile of rocks. You get them all stacked up there, all these intelligent people, but they're not in an environment that promotes taking chances that could break the status quo. They're in perfect alignment, perfect piles, perfect little stacks. And that's just not how life is. But that's maybe one of the hallmarks of intelligence is being able to put everything in order. The problem with that is it's if everything's got a preconceived order, how can you see when things could be in a better order or if something's missing? You already have all the answers. And you can make the argument that, well, a lot of Intelligent people can kind of point out when we don't have the right answers or we have them wrong. But it takes a great amount of courage to break away from group think. That's where your security is. That's where your protection is. Because when you break away from group think, you could get yourself ostracized. You could, and we all know this, you go against the grain, you get kicked out, you're alone outside the group. You're going to get picked on relentlessly. People are not kind to each other when we decide that, remember our last quote day on enemy, that person's an enemy. They want to change the way we do things. We don't want to change the way they do things. They're hostile towards us because they want us to do things differently. They're antagonists. So when you find yourself outside the group, regardless of if you were trying to be hostile or antagonistic, maybe you're just trying to help, but that's not how you're labeled. Now you are unable to gain access to resources. You're labeled a threat. It 
takes a lot of courage to bring that upon yourself. A lot of courage or a lot of, a lot of um, willful ignorance, I guess. But that's what happens when you push the boundaries, when you challenge the status quo. If you're not in the right environment. And most environments are not the right environment. But I also believe that this is where most breakthroughs happen. This is where visionaries become visionaries. You don't get visionaries inside of the group. You get visionaries outside of the group. Because they have the courage to leave the group and resist the temptation to return back to the safety of the group. They don't apologize. They don't ask for safety. They don't call time out. They just go and they do. So intelligence is not special. A group of intelligent people is no more impressive than a pile of rocks. What is special is an intelligent person who is brave enough to apply their intellect in ways that the respective groups to which they belong do not agree. They know when they apply their intellect that it is very likely that they're going to get kicked out of the herd and everything that that's going to bring down upon them just so they can create something different or something better. That's a diamond. That's a diamond amongst the rocks. The problem is the rocks don't want diamonds. The rocks want to keep just a pile of rocks. And the diamonds, they got to shine, but sometimes they have to shine by themselves. They have to step outside. Now, the beautiful thing about the diamonds is the diamonds attract people. People always attracted to diamonds. Rocks, though, what do we do with them? We toss them to the side, right? We, we use them to border our, our, our gardens or fill our holes. What do we need rocks for? We need diamonds. We need more intelligent people to be willing to step outside of the group and say, hey, here's a better way. Here's a better idea. Let's try this. And you know what else we need? We need more groups that are accepting of this type of behavior without labeling people as enemies and trying to destroy them just for doing it. So be a diamond, not a rock. <laughs>